Did you weigh that yet? No. Nope. Okay. We'll show them some fish. The 45th Michigan Brown Trout Festival has come to an end, but the knowledge gained by some new volunteers made a lasting impression. When you have like big fish, you hold them by the um, gills. Learning where their clips are and, you know, just learning what's natural, what's not natural, and seeing all the different species, it's wonderful. Next fish is a steelhead. Roger Bark is known as the fish doctor during the nine-day tournament. He's volunteered for 18 years and knows all types of fish, but the steelhead is his favorite. When you open up that cooler and see that big, bright silver, a nice, huge steelhead with them spots, and the pink line, just gorgeous. He knows so many facts about the local fish. This is a, what they call a pink salmon. These were accidentally placed in the Great Lakes in the late 50s. Bark was happy to share his knowledge with others. Like the heaviest one was like 24 pounds, I think, and I couldn't lift it up. Watching them struggle and get that fish up, putting it on the scale, or a kid that don't like to touch fish and and see them touch a fish, that's great. That's what it's about. That's your future fisherman or the future fish doctor. Being the fish doctor is not all fun and games. Looking for certain marks helps the DNR track down planted fish. The fin clips with the lake trout is important information that the DNR gather so that way they know what kind of trout base and what size ages of trout are being caught. The brown trout tournament means a lot to Alpena for its fisheries and more, but it needs help to keep it running. I like to see all of the community come down here and be part of this because it, it's, it's wonderful. I want to see it get bigger.